Have you heard the startling news that the Earth's poles might flip? Perhaps in the response to a close pass from a mysterious planet X. Are you imagining the entire Earth actually flipping over on its side or rotating upside down, possibly while Yakety Sax plays in the background? When will this happen? Can this happen? First, there's no secret planet hurtling through the solar system causing chaos and orbital disturbances. So could the Earth spontaneously and physically flip over? Some planets have already been tilted and flipped. Take a look at Uranus. Its orbital tilt is 98 degrees. We assume the planet started with the same tilt as the rest of the solar system, and then some event in the ancient past caused it to fall over. It could have collided with another planet billions of years ago, or gravitational interactions with the other giant planets pushed it over. And then there's Venus. Its axial tilt is 177 degrees. That's essentially upside down. Venus is turning in the opposite direction from every other planet in the solar system. Standing on the surface of Venus, you would see the sun rise in the west and set in the east. Astronomers don't know why this happened. Perhaps it was gravitational interactions or a collision with another planet. To actually flip a planet off its axis would take an event so catastrophic that it would devastate the planet. So don't worry. As far as we know, these kinds of events and interactions stopped happening billions of years ago. So that's the good news. The Earth isn't likely to just fall over or get bashed on its side like an office tower under the might of Godzilla. Now what about those magnetic poles? On Earth, they can and do reverse on a regular basis. The Earth is often shown like a giant bar magnet with a north magnetic pole and a south magnetic pole. Over vast periods of time, the Earth's north pole becomes its south pole, and vice versa. Geologists measure the magnetic configuration of iron particles in ancient lava flows. In one part of the lava flow, the particles are oriented with one magnetic configuration, and then in another part, the particles were reversed. It turns out the planet reverses its polarity on average every 450,000 years, and the last reversal happened about 780,000 years ago, which means it could happen in the next few thousand years, or it might be millions of years. But if the Earth's poles did reverse, what would happen to us? If the magnetic field disappeared entirely, the planet would be bathed in radiation from the sun, which would likely cause an increase in cancer. But the Earth's atmosphere would still protect us from the majority of radiation. So what about mass extinctions? Scientists have wondered if there's a link between them and magnetic reversals. But fortunately for us, it doesn't seem there's any connection. Whenever geomagnetic reversals happened in the past, it didn't devastate life on Earth. So don't worry about it. There's a pretty good chance it won't happen in our lifetime, and maybe not for hundreds of thousands of years. And even if the Earth's poles did flip, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But you might need to take a Sharpie to your compass. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe right over here. Our guide to space is made possible by the members of our Patreon community. I'd like to thank Bernier Poulin, Brett Simon, Brian Shoemaker, and Corey, and the many others who contribute to our efforts to bring great space and astronomy content every month. If you'd like to see extra materials like behind the scenes content and full length raw interviews, you too can become a member of our community. Find out how by clicking here. Mine is rolling. Ready to go? Yeah. Give me a clap.